an uneventful flight via PAL 501 to Singapore. We got here at the Changi Airport. It's been a while since my last time. Now, I gotta meet the Porsche guys at the Azure restaurant. I'm gonna have to take the uh, SkyTrain on Terminal 3. That's right. Adventure begins right now. Well, you're gonna have to forgive me if I sound like a broken trombone. Uh, the thing is, after this trip with Porsche, I got sick. And, um, well, I can't wait to get well before I put this video together and push it out for you to watch. So, here it goes. Um, right after I arrived at Singapore uh, Airport in Changi and I checked into the hotel, the very following morning, we uh, took off, drove off a three-car convoy that's eventually turned into four, a couple of uh, Porsche 911 Carrera T's and uh, uh, one Panamera uh, Sport Turismo 4. Now, uh, we took off from Singapore and briskly made our way to the border to Kuala Lumpur. That's right, we're crossing over to Malaysia from Singapore uh, and it didn't take us long to get there. So we were averaging 120, 140, 150 kilometers per hour and uh, that was on the fast lane on the right side of the expressway. Uh, it was not a very wide highway, the north-south superhighway in Kuala Lumpur. And we were like, you know, still very wary of trucks that would be uh, just basically jutting out of line. Uh, it happens everywhere, especially in Metro Manila. But we were really, really relishing the fact that we were cruising at a very high speed. Uh, <laughs> kudos to the people who organized the whole thing, where they really knew where the cameras were. <laughs> so um, I don't encourage this, guys. You know, you have to follow the rules uh, as much as you can wherever you are and always safety first. But we knew what we were doing. We were really being very, very careful. And uh, we just wanted to get a good feel of the car so we can properly review the cars as well. So at, at certain stretches where it was really clear and really safe, we made sure in excess of 210, even hit 220 kilometers per hour on certain areas. And uh, wow, the, the Carrera 911T felt so connected to the road, very, very stable. It felt very light at the same time, but uh, the faster you go, the, the more squash to the road it feels because of the aerodynamics and um, you know it's basically the uh, exceptional engineering of the car that makes you feel more reassured it actually makes you feel like a better driver and it does turn you into a better driver because uh, everything is laid out so ergonomically you get to concentrate on just driving and being one with the car so every synapse every every reaction of the car you get to feel so you you can know you know just it's like a relationship with the car every single tiny input you give to it it reacts and and instantaneously there is no lag and uh, uh just like how responsive the the steering is the the throttle the acceleration so are the brakes so you know confidently that the car will stop whatever you unleash so you know uh, on certain overtake maneuvers uh you can plot your way as far as you can see and and just execute it precisely like uh like a surgeon. Okay, so we've been driving like approximately nine hours. I think it's 11, well, we've been driving since 8 a.m. Malaysian time. Exactly. Oh, all right, uh, right. And it's, you know what, what the fantastic thing is, we've actually had to adjust our watches. We've been driving that far. We've sort of like, you know, crossed over different time zones. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so what was the highlight of today? I was able to uh, eat authentic Tom Yum Gong. <laughs> yeah, seafood inside. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. There was also the crab curry that we ordered for everyone. I, I, did you try it? Yeah, I did. I did. Ah, okay. Everything was good. Yes. It's so good. hard not to overeat in trips like this, but you know, you just gotta give in because that's part of it. Well, more it's dinner this time. You bet. More dinner coming more dinner? up as well. Okay, yeah. okay. So Jeffrey, thanks so much for keeping us company and uh, being a great host to everyone. Uh, with the Porsche Carrera 911T, and then of course the uh, Sport Turismo. Okay, so it's a great drive. Um, we're now nearing, or are we already in Champon? Uh, we're nearing Champon, another 100 kilometers away, so it should be another hour from now. All right, it's a cinch. 
Yes. Uh, the thing about driving like this, and especially at the pace we were in early today, 100 kilometers is not much. It sounds yes. like a lot, but it's not much. On the third day, we reached Bangkok. And, uh, you know, it, it felt so festive. By the time we got to the uh, Mandarin Oriental Hotel, where, uh, where all the significant Porsches from many, as many as 50 different Porsche groups from all around Asia Pacific um, have converged, it was fantastic. And, and it was my first time to see the Porsche 918 Spider, that hypercar that I've been really, really uh, impressed about ever since it came out and I saw it in the metal right there at the driveway and it <laughs> took my breath away so and the feeling was fantastic as we pulled up to the driveway everybody were, were taking photos uh, taking video and, and everybody was just happy this gigantic festivity that um, you know it's just the beginning it's not even the sports car to get a day it was supposed to happen a couple of days after that but it was fantastic we made it. After we made it. Approximately 2,000 kilometers. 2,000 kilometers. Oh, how many days of driving? Two full days. From Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, and now we're here in Bangkok. Yeah. All we right. Made it. Here in Bangkok for the Porsche Sports Car Together Day, and these are my friends, teammates, uh, brothers, what have you. We drove <laughs> over 2,000 kilometers through three countries, from Singapore to Malaysia to Come Thailand. Come on, stop, Philippines! All right, <laughs> there you go. So we've like kind of you know learned some of our own languages and uh -huh. switched it up together. Well, that's what you get when you keep on stopping for coffee. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is the most significant day in this whole celebration to commemorate 70 years of Porsche Sports Car Together Day. More than 200 Porsches parked over there, and you're going to find out what it looks like. We're just going to hit. Yeah. have a big party right here. All right, see you guys. Bye, yo. This is it, the culmination we've been waiting for. Porsche sports car to get a day in Bangkok. Commemorate 70 years of great cars by Porsche. All right, so you know, what a, what a way to celebrate. 2,000 kilometers, three countries, many, many coffee stops. All right, and uh, well, this is what it's all about, celebrating the badge, the, the heritage, the legacy of Ferdinand Porsche. What are you doing, James? I'm flying my drone. You're flying your drone. <laughs> I'm trying right. not to crash my drone. <laughs> it's probably a more accurate way to there play. There you it. go, okay. And so my journey is about to come to an end. I'm at the uh, Subarnagumi Airport in Bangkok and Whew, about to fly back to Manila. It's been a long time. I've been away roughly a week from home. After all this, it makes me realize what the big fuss is all about, the Porsche brand. Um, I now understand what the fanaticism is all about, uh, about the Porsche brand, why the 911 is so revered, and yeah. 
What amazing heritage and kind of people are really hooked onto the brand. Yeah, I would like to thank Porsche Asia Pacific for organizing this fantastic drive. And uh, congratulations to Porsche and happy birthday for 70 years of amazing vehicles for the most discerning automotive enthusiasts. Kudos to Porsche Asia Pacific, PJ Cars for organizing it, and what a fantastic drive. Once again, this has been Artie for Philippine Daily Inquirer Motor and catch you on the next video. Goodbye.